Matt Hughes. Any questions from the red corner? All right, gentlemen, shake hands, fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Let's go. Here we go. Someone will leave a champion, either for the first time or once again, in this battle between that man, George St. Pierre, and that man, Matt Hughes. Big John McCarthy, our referee. This bout will be scored by Eddie Bravo. Are you ready? Let's get it on. Come Eddie on. Bravo providing our scoring here in the booth. The only American to tap with Gracie, our good friend Eddie Bravo here tonight. Early on, what do we expect to see? What is the tactic that you believe Hughes or St. Pierre will take? Well, St. Pierre, I feel, doesn't want to be taken down by Matt Hughes. I mean, he has to feel that his advantage is going to be in striking. He's going to come in, again, like he is, he's circling left, circling right, not making a stationary target for Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes on the other end is going to want to wait. If St. Pierre comes in and overextends himself, I don't believe that. Early it goes to the mat. Hughes trying to work a choke. It is Matt Hughes on his back. We know one thing. Wrestlers are not the most comfortable human beings on their back. And I would say Matt Hughes is probably past that uh, yeah, definition good. now. I think he's very comfortable there. He's good on his back. He has skills. I think he's a little surprised that uh, <laughs> St. Pierre is all of us shot on Matt Hughes. Now St. Pierre has good twitches, if you will, at just 23 years old. The, the one thing you see, and you look at the physique, I mean, this is an incredible athlete in George St. Pierre. He is. His speed advantage is definitely going to St. Pierre. He's a very quick athlete. Um, if he can keep the fight elusive like this and moving around, definitely into his favor, instead of being in a clinching, grinding match with Matt Hughes, which would be in Matt Hughes' favor. And I'm sure that is what St. Pierre wants to do. St. Pierre said he trained for this fight full-time. If he's grown up anywhere in the last nine months to a year, it's in the mental side of the game. He was extremely confident when we visited with him earlier this week. Respectful but confident. Combination glances off the chin. Hughes is looking for the big slam. Great defense so far by St. Pierre. Let's see if he's able to defend the shot. This is going to be a definite uh, uh, deciding factor in the fight. Because Matt Hughes easily gets the takedown, discouraging for St. Pierre. If St. Pierre is able to keep Matt Hughes from taking him down, it's going to say something about this fight. There it is. Matt Hughes 101 into the guard, and the guard is open. Matt Hughes is so powerful. St. Pierre, though, not skipping a beat. He's going right for the Kimura. And St. Pierre, remember, as well as being a wrestler, has Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Kimura's blocked right now is by uh, Matt Hughes. You can see that he reached across the waist, and he has actually locked his hands together. If he keeps that locked up, there's no way he can pull out the Kimura. But then again, Matt Hughes isn't throwing punches right now either. Keep working, keep working, come on. I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed with St. Pierre right now. The expression on his face was a complete <laughs> serenity. He was calm as all. I can't believe you being on the back with Matt Hughes against the cage to be that calm and composed. Very impressed. St. Pierre has been working out with the Canadian national wrestling team, a couple of Olympians, his training partner, over the last couple of years. And the last couple of months more specifically. Matt's eye looks to be bloodied up just a little bit. The right eye. Oh, Spinning back kick into the midsection hurt. of Matt Hughes. That took a lot of wind to get caught with that in the midsection. The diaphragm locks up, and it just spits all your eye. You get the wind knocked out of you to get caught with a shot like that. Again, another testament to St. Pierre's athletic ability and as a martial artist. Not many spinning psychics thrown in, uh, in the arena here in the Octagon. As I see the high kick answered, but not connected by Hughes. It's actually the left eye that seems to be a bit bruised and battered on Matt Hughes. You know, there's so much clashing going on, it doesn't know if uh, St. Pierre actually landed something. Could have been even in the takedown and taking the guy down. There's just so much is going on in the ring. Cuts come up everywhere. Nice stiff jab. Good straight punches by St. Pierre. Pierre. Great defense so far. Hips back, but then again, Matt Hughes doing what Matt Hughes does. Now it certainly seems that George St. Pierre, as you talked about, is extremely comfortable, especially on his feet. Matt Hughes is past the guard of St. Pierre. Not a good position for St. Pierre. He's going to go and reestablish the guard and get back up to his feet. Putting the knee up there, I know it looks funny to a lot of people. It looks like maybe he's trying to rest. But what he's actually doing is trying to stop the mount. He's keeping them, Matt Hughes from being able to cross his knee over the midsection. Looking, looking good, guys. Looking 45 good. seconds remains in round number one. And it'll be interesting to see what our own Eddie Bravo thinks because there have been points scored in this round by George St. Pierre. Now the relentless attack of Matt Hughes in an open guard 
now being utilized by St. Pierre. This Let's is where look. Matt is at his best, though, the ground and pound. St. Pierre's guard is very good. I mean, I've, he just avoided a big-time elbow. He was able to push to the outside and cross over. So far, again, he doesn't seem like he's being tired out by being on the bottom. Well, we saw that straight punch glance off of Matt Hughes' chin. And Matt trying to finish this round one with a flurry and scores some points. Matt Hughes with a submission, and it's all over! It's nice. all over! Matt Hughes with a submission victory! Bang! Armbar over! Matt Hughes is once again the welterweight champion! Beautiful armbar transition. Goes to show Matt Hughes is not a wrestler, like I said, he's able to evolve. And that was literally at the end of round one. Literally at the very end. And Matt Hughes wins by submission. Expect the unexpected <laughs> here tonight in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Wow, you talk about exploding. That was a very quick armbar.